And welcome back to our next video that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be doing some uh, brake tests today. You know, a lot of times before you uh, you can get your license, they'll, they'll take you in, they'll have you do a, a pre-trip, an in-cab, a brake inspection, and then a, uh, a driving test. Uh, this damn CB. Um, this. Uh, this probably isn't exactly the way they want you to do it for DMV, but uh, but in the real world, this is kind of how you do it. Um, you know, whenever you see steep downgrades, a lot of times you'll see uh, a brake check area. Well, this is what you're supposed to do at that brake check area. So give me one second, I'll uh, get the truck fired up here and we'll get started. Okay, these are the gauges that we're going to pay most attention to. These are our front and rear, or primary and secondary uh, air tanks. Turn my radio down here. Um, the first test we're going to be doing, you know, the, this is about where my truck maxes out. It's about 120 pounds of pressure or so. Uh, first test you want to do is your governor cut-in test. Uh, you do this with the truck running. What you do with the uh, with the parking brake set, you want to go ahead and slowly fan the brake, and you can see how the uh, the gauges go down. Once you get down below 100 pounds, you want to stop, and you want to note the recovery pressure. You can give the engine just a little bit of RPMs to, uh, you know, to help this out. Bada bing, and as you can see, they're recovering. So uh, your your governor cut in. You want it to uh, cut in uh, no lower than 85 pounds. Uh, you're looking for the 90 pounds. And mine's right there on it. Next, you're looking for the governor cut out, and that's where I'm not sure if you can hear that, but uh, but you can usually hear the. Uh, uh, the truck sneeze, as they call it, or uh, you know, it's the blow-off valve, which uh, gets rid of uh, water in your air tanks, and you want that to come in about 125 pounds, no higher than 130. Next up, what, what you want to do, uh, you want to go ahead and do the static pressure test. You want to just go ahead and uh, uh, shut the truck off, turn the key back on, and then you want to note, <coughs> see how much air pressure the uh, the truck loses in one minute uh, without your foot on the brake or anything at all. And we're going to assume that one minute passed. And you're looking for, uh, uh, because I've got a trailer on, we're looking for no more than uh, uh, than about three pounds of pressure. Next we're going to do what's called the uh, service brake or applied pressure test. Or what you'll do, you go ahead and uh, go ahead and secure the truck. Go ahead and put it in whatever gear you can find here. Can't get the damn thing in gear. There we go. Um, so I've got it in the very lowest gear that I have. Then you go ahead and push in both your uh, uh, your tractor and your trailer air brakes. You'll, you'll feel the truck settle just a little bit. And next up what you want to do, go ahead and get back on the, uh, the gauges here. Turn the key back on. And you want to push full service brake pressure. It is all the way down. And then you want to uh, count for one minute and see how much air, air pressure it loses. Uh, with being a tractor trailer, your applied pressure test doesn't want to be any more than uh, four pounds of pressure in one minute. Now we're going to assume that that's one minute that just passed. So we're going to go ahead and let go of the, uh, the air brakes. And we're going to go ahead and do our uh, low air pressure warning. So you go ahead and you fan your brakes slowly. And first we'll see a little light come on. It should be around 60 pounds or so. There we go, there's our light. On some trucks they also have an audible buzzer. And uh, next we'll do our spring brake test, where what we'll do, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue to, uh, to fan our brakes slowly until our tractor protection valve uh, pops out and our, uh, our actual parking brake pops out. That usually happens between about 20 pounds and 40 pounds. Oh, we're getting close. I can hear it humming. Oh, there we go. Bada bing, both of them came out. And we still have about 25 pounds of pressure. Next up. We'll go ahead and turn our key off here in my truck, push in the clutch, fire the truck up, put it back 
back into neutral because our brakes are now set. We want to make sure that our uh, oil pressure comes up between three and five seconds and that our uh, uh, water temperature comes up as we uh, heat up the motor. And you can hear my audible buzzer now because the truck's running. We're going to note when that buzzer cuts off. I'm going to give it a few RPMs here to expedite the process. Bing. That's off. Everything's off. Next up, they have an 85 to 100 pound test that's supposed to happen in 45 seconds. Um, I'm not going to do that test. I'm just going to bring it back up to, uh, to full service pressure. And we'll go ahead and do our two tuck tests. What the tuck tests are is, and we can do that really at any pressure because our brakes are already set. You go ahead and, uh, go ahead and put it in low gear. Uh, we're going to tug against all the brakes on the truck right now. We'll go ahead and let out the clutch a little bit. And you can see the RPMs drop and the truck didn't go anywhere. So we know that all the brakes work. So first up we'll, uh, uh, we'll push in the, the tractor valve so we're going to tug just against our uh, trailer brakes. We'll go ahead and watch our RPMs drop again here. RPMs went down, truck didn't go very far. I've got an empty trailer, so I'm, I'm in a dirt lot, so I just drug a little bit. So next up, we'll let those brakes back out. We'll push in our trailer brakes. So that way they'll roll free, and we're tugging against the uh, tractor brakes only. And RPMs go down, we don't go anywhere. Bada bing, so we know that we'll go ahead and put it back in neutral here and shut the truck off. Uh, so we now know that, uh, that all the brakes are in perfect working condition uh, on our truck. Um, there we go. Hopefully you learned something.